Over the next few weeks, I'm going to show you some puzzles by some of the strongest players in the world. And I'm starting with a game by Garry Kasparov, played in Sheleftia in 1989. Kasparov White against Zoltan Ribli. Now, this is a very curious case. Let me explain what happened. White to play, Gary to play. Kasparov played rook takes rook and he offered a draw, which was accepted by Ribley. Okay, so let's let's work out why Kasparov offered a draw. Well, clearly he wasn't expecting black to recapture the rook because then white would take here and white is a piece up. No, he'd obviously counted on bishop takes bishop. There are two rooks attacked. Kasparov obviously thought that he'd have to play like this. And then, well, the position is roughly level. I mean, white is slightly worse because of the damage pawns, but it should end up a draw. So the question is, what did Kasparov miss? Here, white has a winning continuation. Now, this involves some calculation, but white to play and win from this position. I'll give you a moment to try and work it out. If you want to hit the pause button, white to play and win. There is a sensational idea in this position. Very easy to overlook. Okay, are you ready? I, I need to have a slurp of tea, actually. Cheers. Here we go. Boom! Rook d8. Yes. That is a sensational idea. Very unusual. Okay, first things first. Rook takes rook. What happens if black takes it? Boom! Your second boom of the day. Rook d5. What an absolute killer. Queen takes rook. Queen takes queen, rook takes rook, and mate next move. And obviously if pawn takes, then queen takes a4. What a beautiful idea. So coming back to the position after rook d8. Okay, what happens if black takes the rook here? Pawn takes rook. Now white's winning move is queen d6, and there's no good defense. That is a back rank checkmate. Now, it's trickier if black plays queen takes b5. White's move is the same. Queen d6. Threatening mate here. Now, how does black defend? Okay, what about rook e8? So that's defended by the queen. Well, then we have queen e7. Now, what can white do at the other end of the board? Well, bishop takes f2, king g2. And actually, the king is escaping there. Okay, this is trickier. Bishop takes f2 check straight away. Let's have a look. King takes f2. Oh, yeah, incidentally. Yeah, you have to be a little bit careful. You don't want to play king g2 here because queen d5 would exchange queens. So after bishop takes, king takes. Queen f5 check. Now, white's king has to escape the checks. And it's a, it's a delicate task and you have to avoid those kind of pitfalls with exchanging queens. So again, king g2, queen d5 check wouldn't be too clever. First of all, king g1. Now, there's only one sensible check for black, and that's queen b1 check. King g2. King f2 would just repeat here, and queen f5. So king g2. Queen b7 certainly doesn't do anything. King can just step out. So queen e4. Now, if white wants to avoid the checks, King h3. 
it it's fairly easy to calculate this because actually black only has one decent move here so it's a sort of straight line of calculation queen f5 check g4 again only one sensible check king steps aside queen g1 king f3 queen f1 now the king has to head over somewhere to this side of the board in order to escape the checks king e3 now if king, queen g1 king d2 there are no more sensible checks and queen c1 king f2 no more sensible checks therefore queen h3 king heads up the board yeah king king d2 queen h6 isn't so clear so king d4 and if queen takes g4 and black has no more sensible checks or e5 this is good fun the king carries on up the board let's keep going and finally the white king has escaped and then this i'm afraid is still the issue for black what do you do about that taking results in the back rank checkmate and well this one isn't i mean this can just be taken and white will win that one so an extraordinary scenario actually and incredible that uh, gary missed it i think well i don't know if it's incredible it's just that this move is really extraordinary rook d8 what a fantastic move so kasparov wasn't quite all seeing um in his career but he was he was pretty good and i'm going to show in fact next week i'm going to show another uh, game by Kasparov where he won absolutely beautifully.